Hello, I am Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to create this underwater magical scene and I'm going to teach you how to create those wonderful sun rays. First we need to add the water. Click on the adjustment layers, choose a solid color and fill it with a greenish bluish color, something like that. Now let's add a gradient. So the water is darker on the bottom, click on the gradient and click on the right uh, black color and choose our foreground color, the water color. Now drag this slider from the middle to the left a bit, something like that and then click OK. So the water is darker on the bottom. Alright, now let's create the sun rays. Choose again the gradient and Click on the edit here on top and now instead of solid let's choose noise and here the roughness should be 100% and check both restrict colors and add transparency. Click OK and now zoom out by pressing Ctrl and minus or Command on minus and now drag a line from the bottom right part to the left side. OK. Now choose the blending mode to screen and we need to desaturate this layer and now press here on the adjustment layers, choose uh, hue and saturation and drag the saturation all the way to the left. We need to affect only the sun rays, not the whole composition, so clip this hue and saturation layer to our sun rays, so hold alt and click between the layers. Alright now. Go to the sun rays layer, right click and choose convert to a smart object. We need to blur it because the sun rays are not that straight. So choose filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And as you can see we play with the radius and choose around 35 or even 40. Let's choose 35. Click OK, add the layer mask and now we are starting to hide the bottom part. In order to do that you need the black selected and choose the brush tool. Uh, the flow should be somewhere around 10%. Uh, make the brush bigger and then start to brush the bottom part. OK, something like that. Just brush and hide the sun rays where you don't want them to be, especially the bottom part, because they are not that strong on the bottom part. Okay, so we created the sun rays. Now let's bring some uh, rocks, this uh, picture that uh, I have from uh, Pexels. I'm going to provide a link for it in the description. Let's bring it into our document and uh, let's place it above the gradient layer. Press Ctrl and T from the transformation tool and now drag all the way to the top. So we have the rocks only on the bottom part, something like that. Add a layer mask and now start to brush with the brush tool on the top. So you hide the top part because we don't want that. We want only our sun rays to be seen. So we brush this part, we hide it actually. Okay, and now with this layer that we have, the rocks, we need to change the blending mode to screen. And because on the bottom part of the water it's darker, we need to uh, do the same thing again with the brush tool, yeah, and brush the bottom part and make it darker. Alright, let's zoom in. I think it's too dark. Let's choose white. And now I think it's <laughs> too visible. So we need a, a slower, uh, a smaller flow, something like 3%. And brush with the white. And when the sun, where the sun rays, uh, let's say they are interacting with the rocks, we need to make that part more visible. So, um, Let's choose a, a smaller brush 
and a really smaller flow like 1% and when you see the sun rays are hitting the rocks you can brush with white only that part uh, all right let's zoom in to be sure that we are doing the right thing so here I want this parts of the rocks to be more visible because we have the sun rays on top all right so something like that let's zoom out okay I think we have a nice picture now let's add this girl that I will provide the link for in the description is also from Pexels let's drag it in our document and of course let's uh, put it on top of everything and as you can see we need to blend the picture better so choose again screen and make it smaller Control or command t and make the girl smaller something like that double click and now as you can see we need to uh, hide those parts that we don't want to be seen we want only the girl to be uh, on the wire so now choose uh, again a um, layer mask and start to paint with black choose the brush tool and increase the flow to 10 percent all right now brush with black to hide those parts all right so we want only her to be seen all right something like that okay but because she has the sun rays uh, on her face that means the bottom part should not be that light so we need to add another adjustment layer with uh, brightness and contrast we drag the brightness all the way to the left and we are going to add this uh, adjustment layer into our uh, layer with the girl so hold alt and clip it inside now because she shouldn't be that uh, dark we need to brush with the brush tool on the parts that we want to be more uh, lighter so choose the black again and just brush on the parts that we need them to be more visible okay something like that I think the bottom part needs some more shadows so for that let's create a new layer let's call it shadows and now choose the blending mode soft light and choose the black color with the brush tool selected we are going to let's zoom in a bit we are going to hide to make those parts sorry to make those parts of the girl darker so just paint with black on the parts that you want to be darker all right let's make the fl uh, the size bigger and just brush where you think the image should be darker okay don't worry you can always uh, bring more light if you think it's too dark can do anything we want in Photoshop okay and now I want this layer to affect only the layer of the girl so clip it inside holding alt okay I think with and without I think it looks much better now um, let's play a bit more with um, the lights and um, let's see what we can do more as you can see here the sun rays are intersecting with the girl so we need to add another layer and we are going to call it lights let's clip it from the beginning inside our layer with the girl and choose soft light but now we are going to choose white and we are going to draw with white let's make the flow bigger we are going to draw with white where we think those parts should be more visible great now let's clean up a bit our document so we are going to use a group to group all the layers that you use on the girl so hold shift and select all the layers that are involved in the uh, girls layer and create a new group 
call it uh, girl. Now we are going to add some colors to our sun rays and we are going to create a new layer. Let's call it colors. And instead of black, let's choose uh, another color, something like that. Um, let's uh, make this uh, size bigger, something like that. And choose the blending mode to overlay and clip these colors to affect only the sun rays. So if uh, let's uh, bring the flow down to 9% and if we are going to paint here on the sun rays, as you can see, it adds some greenish color on them, which I think it looks much better with than without. Uh, also, if you want more of the sun rays to be visible on the bottom of the ocean, you can go on the mask, choose white and uh, choose a smaller size of the brush and if you paint with white as you can see the sun rays are more visible but we don't want them to be that visible but you can play around after you finish with your uh, editing if you want them to be more visible and of course don't forget to make those parts on the bottom more visible also because they intersect with the uh, rocks so they should be more visible if you want that, you can always go to the mask of the bottom layer, choose white, and don't forget that you need to have some uh, flow around 1% or 2 and just paint down there where you think they should be more visible. If you want, you can always uh, move the girl where you want her to be, but don't forget that she needs to be on a sun ray so the face it's matching the lights uh, now i think i have too much green color on the layer of the girl so i'm going to use a mask and brush with black so i will going to hide let's bring this to 21 percent let's say okay so um i think we are ready uh, if you want to try and do this tutorial, I will be really, really glad to see your results. So don't forget to post a comment and like my clip after you finish viewing the tutorial. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this.